So Martin Crothers joins us after the 3-2 defeat to League Town tonight. Martin, what was the difference overall? A better side. Uh, simple and basic, really. You know, we, we aspire to be like, you know, those uh, Stamford, Newcastle Town, you know, and against, uh, I know we got a point against Stamford Town, but, uh, you know, against the better, better sides we've been found wanting. You know, we said at half-time, you know, we'd like to be 1-0 up, you know, and I thought we, we, we did pretty well first half. You know, we warned them that, you know, they've got good movement, good energy. We need to be compact and solid and, and keep our discipline. And, and we didn't, you know, and it was a, a great first goal from those, you know, one in a one in a one in a hundred, you know. And then they it was sort of kamikaze from us. We lost all discipline, lost all shape, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, we're three or four players from uh, being that kind of side. And, you know, um, we'll use this break to, to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves down and, and uh, reorganise. Having been in front of half time, as he said, that you know, I suppose you can't legislate for a goal from inside their own half, can you? But I suppose it's was that enough? Do you think to give them the kick they needed to to really spell? Yeah, out? certainly goals change games, you know. And uh, we had we had some good opportunities, you know, um, early in the, the first half, and certainly start the second half with great great chances from set pieces. And if if you go two 0 up, goals change games. They deflate players. They deflate teams. You know, we couldn't do that and, and when you have that kind of pressure, you know, the, the, the better sides turn the screw and, and, and finish games off. You know, and, even, and if it's 2 nil, if you keep it tight and you frustrate them, then you, you can see games out. But, you know, we haven't got the personnel, we haven't got the, the leadership, you know, within that team to, to keep us organised and to keep us disciplined and, and, and grind results out just yet. So, you know, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're still falling short and uh, we know what we need to do. Tough time to head now, we're not sure are we, how, how long it might be before you play yeah. again. How do you approach this now as a manager? Everyone's in the same boat, of course. Um, every manager's going to have their own ideas of how to cope with it. You've had a lockdown before. Where do you go from here? What's, what's the message to the players now? The players, the message to the players is they've got to keep, keep themselves fit. You know, um, we've got our own fitness coach who's going to put some training plans in our, in our group WhatsApp to keep them ticking over. Uh, we've warned them that, you know, we expect them to, to stay fit, to stay sharp. Um, we'll give them some targets to to reach to when, for when they get back, but you know we we just don't know what's gonna what's gonna happen. We don't know if it's gonna be second of December. We don't know if it's gonna carry on through over Christmas. It could be, it could be January. So we have to be prepared and 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 we have to get fitter because you can see the fitness levels from from Leeds much higher than than us today. And you know uh, although we got back in it late on, you know at, at times you know we're too stretched. We get counter attack too much and. Uh, you know, it could have been more, but saying that, you know, I think uh, it was a great game for the neutral and it probably could have finished 7-6 or 7 also. you know, uh, no, not great defending from both sides. Yeah, I mean, I guess when, when things return, in an ideal world, you'd want to have a, a friendly or two and, and a few training sessions, but it could be quite a tight turnaround if if it is 2nd of December and you've got a game on the 5th. I mean, I guess it's going to be hard, isn't it, to assess what it, 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 it will be nigh on impossible, you know, and it's not realistic to expect players to come back. You know, we've had issues already. After the last lockdown, with players getting injured, getting fatigued, not being able to manage two games a week, so you know, uh, for players' safety and, and and own health, you know, it's it's the the, the FA and the league and have to look at it hard and you know come up with some uh, kind of contingency plan. But you know, I think you know every team, if we do continue even in January, it's going to be three three games per week or extend the season. So you know, we'll just have to uh, see what happens. Perhaps to finish off, it, perhaps it's a good time just to have a look back at how things have gone so far now. You have got a break ahead. What do you, how do you assess things? Has it, has it gone as you'd like? It could have been better at times. Obviously, the last couple of weeks have been a bit tougher. But where overall do you think you're at now? Like I said, you know, we're against the best, better sides in the league. We're, we're falling short. So, you know, at this moment in time, you know, we're probably, you know, probably looking at, at, at playoffs at best. So, you know, to win the title, you know, you've got to have a team like Leeds. You've got to have a team like Stamford. You know, and even a Newcastle town, you know, and, uh, and that's not been counting out any other teams that, that are going to be up there, your Belpers and, uh, you know, whoever else I've missed off there. You know, we're just not quite there, you know, and we'll address that. You know, we know what we need to make us better. You know, we've got to be fitter, we've got to be more organised and we've got to be more clinical from our set pieces. So, uh, you know, we will, we'll, we'll look at it and hopefully we'll have two or three new faces in for when we, we do make a comeback. Yeah, fingers crossed it won't be too long. Thanks for your time, Martin. Cheers. Cheers. Nice one. Cheers.